I'm Don Wise. I'm professor in the Department of Agronomy and Plant Genetics at the University of Minnesota and currently lead the Forever Green Initiative. The Forever Green Initiative is really designed to develop this next generation of winter annual and perennial crops to produce new economic opportunity as well as environmental protection. The current agriculture uh, system of the upper Midwest is framed around corn and soybeans. There are only a active on the landscape with active root systems for about two and a half months, meaning that the nitrate and nitrogen that's held in that soil and the water that's in that soil is released during that brown period in the fall and in the spring. As that water moves through the system, it is carrying nitrate and nitrogen with it. If we want to reduce that loading of nitrate and nitrogen into the system, we need to have winter annuals and perennials as part of the agricultural system for the future. The question that is being asked is when society says there's too much nitrogen going into surface water and we have concerns about the impact of that nitrogen on the Gulf of Mexico, everyone focuses on the farmer for the solution to that problem. But what we find is that in most cases the farmers do not have the economic viability, the economic carrying capacity to make the changes I grew up in a farm and had been part of the agricultural system personally for my entire life. As a family, we were trying to figure out how to do a better job in managing that farm to reduce our farm's impact, and it came back to that same issue. We wanted to make a change, but from an economic viability perspective, we did not have options. So within the Forever Green Initiative, we've invested in the development of these uh, new crops. It has taken a long period of time. These crops are providing a yield that would be uh, viable for farmers to uh, produce it. These crops have potential production throughout large portions of the Midwest and, and Western states. As the markets develop, we can envision these crops being planted on millions of acres and could in fact have the potential to really be part of that long-term solution in reducing nitrogen uh, loading into the Gulf of Mexico. Not only are the farmers going to be able to grow these grains, they're going to be able to process them, develop new products, and market those products to the world. It's, it's not just an environmental impact issue, it's economic development issue for rural America.